well. And there, uh, each year that you have a person in this program renting from you, they decrease a, a certain amount of from your uh, from your principal of oh, your wow. loan. And then when you get to ten years. Mm-hmm. It's forgiven. Oh, wow. Yeah, your balance is forgiven. Wow. So that is like a win, 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 win. You're helping the community. You're helping a homeless person get back on their feet. Wow. Someone who's been some bad luck or whatever. And then, you know, if you're, you're renting somebody, you have additional income. Your property value is going up. It's like a, I think this That's is an excellent program. Way. My only thing is this. After the 10 years, do you then get to rent to whoever you want to? You can or? do whatever you want after 10 oh, years. okay. Okay. You can do whatever you want after 10 years. Okay. And even before that, you could, but the, 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 the benefits, you know, you will waive those, right. you know, as far right. as the, you'll just have to, you know, pay. But yeah, so, and, uh, and as far as like one of the, the concerns about being a, a, a landlord is people moving out and you having vacancies or whatever. But with this program, there's no shortage of, sorry to say, there's no shortage right. of homeless people. Right. So I'm sure they have plenty of people for this program. Plenty. So if somebody defaults for whatever reason and doesn't, you know, falls out of the program and stops paying their rent and they have to be removed, have then somebody they have somebody in, in the, right. The next week or the next exactly, month. Exactly. That take their place. Because my, my thing would be the, um, wouldn't you be worried about somebody who's mentally unstable or somebody who's, um, you know, just not very clean or something like that? No. And being so close to your house and your daughter and everything? Well, that's, I mean, they're they're vetting these people. So, I mean, that's the whole I purpose mean, of... What's the what's the process? Mm. Like, you know, like an application? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Like, like, I mean, seri- that, I mean, just like seriously, like that's the know? that's the chance you take anytime you run to anybody. I How's guess so, but but I guess that's true. I guess that's true. But I would just think like the risk would be higher, and then usually if you were renting to someone that was private, you know what I'm saying, you can meet them, talk to them, you know, get like a, a better understanding, a background check, all that kind of stuff. Not to say that you still wouldn't be able to with the with the veterans program, but I just, I don't know. I, I just think that it would be just a little bit riskier. You're just prejudiced against homeless people? No, I'm not prejudiced against homeless people. <laughs> what it sounds like. I, I'm not. I really, I really am not. I have a homeless guy. I give him change every Sunday, faithfully. <laughs> But he can't live in your backyard. I don't have a backyard. <laughs> I don't have a backyard. I had a homeless guy ask me if he can come in my house and take a shower. I'm single. I live by myself. So mm-hmm. I'm, that's just not a risk that I'm willing to take for me. Because if something was to happen to me, would, would I live alone? Well, somebody coming in your house is different than you renting out a space in your backyard. Yeah, I mean, but having I still a backyard like apartment. Yeah, no, but I still feel like that's so close that if they if, if they that's had so a mental bre- if they had a mental breakdown or anything, you know what I'm saying, and, and they wanted to then decide they're gonna come after you or your family is right there, your home is right there. But I mean, I'm just that's just I'm just pointing that out. That's the like I said, that's the risk. Anytime you rent to anybody, anybody could do that at any time. Or what's the your, a I mean, house a house in my backyard is no closer to me than the person to my right or my left. Okay, but I'm also saying that if you rent to a school teacher, I'm sure the risk of the school teacher Who's to say that the, the school teacher is not homeless? No, I'm not saying that the school teacher is not homeless, but what I'm saying is if you were renting it privately and you someone approached you and they were like a school teacher or a nurse in a hospital or something like that, then versus somebody who's come from a war they have these issues or you know maybe they're homeless or they i'm sorry they have mental issues or something like that you know what i'm saying it's just the two the two varying the the one who's not as stable as the one who's so you know so you think everybody who's homeless is no. unstable or no well, what i'm saying is because you know homeless, people there are people who are homeless because they lost their job and like the only well, difference was, between the only difference between you and them is that they had bad luck. I mean, there are now. Granted, I do not. I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend talking like talking about I'm, those people. I'm talking so, about people with mental issues. I'm talking about people that are that are possibly going to be inside this program. Aren't you worried about that? That's what I'm asking you. You're not worried about that. Why would I be worried about that? I don't. I don't. I'm just it's nothing to worry. They're not in my house. They're in the back apartment, backyard okay. apartment. I just okay. And then I was telling you what my concerns would be based on that. 
I would be, I might be a little bit worried. Not to say that that that, that would stop me or hinder me from helping somebody, but I would definitely have that into consideration. That's something to consider, but I feel like it's low. I just don't see the, it's not like I sleep with doors and windows open. Anyway, or but, else. Hey. I mean, you know, and if you're going to help somebody, it's not going to be like 100% all favorable. You know what I mean? There's, you, you know, the idea of helping somebody, you kind of have to go out of your way in some bit. And I think with this program, they're putting a whole, they're stacking the deck really in your favor, in your favor to help somebody. Oh yeah. So it's not like, you know, I'm a, it's like a, a saint or anything, but at the same time, I don't, I'm not so naive to think that there's like absolutely no risk at all. Right. You know what I mean? But right. at the same time, I don't think it's significantly higher than, Running to, running to anyone else. I just don't think it is. I mean, because there are a lot of people out there that are crazy, whatever, and you would never know. Mm-hmm. And you rent to them and have to deal with whatever happens. Yeah, it's just, that's true. It's just, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I, I'm down for this program. I think it's great. I hope it takes on. I hope it makes a difference. And I hope uh, I, I hope I end up participating in it, to be honest. Me, too. I, I, I hope it works out. I really do. And I hope they really, you know... Help all the help, help all the homeless people and rehab them and all that stuff because we have a lot of homeless people in LA. It is like really, it's an epidemic out here, y'all. For real, we have so many homeless in California in general. Oh my God, we have so many homeless people. I don't know where the Thousands. time time went because we got <laughs> a whole lot of show left. <laughs> I guess there was a lot of debating that I didn't expect to have, and uh, I totally lost track of time. Mm. What are we going to do? Uh, okay, so you know we don't really talk about new artists. or We don't do a whole, whole lot of music on here anyway. Mm-hmm. It's not really a music show. But but we will do whatever's in the news. Or But I, I came across this new artist. Really? Yes. Her name is Yesh, and she's out of, well, I won't, I'll save all of that. But I want to, I have an unusual request for you, Dejan. Okay. Because I want your unbiased opinion oh, should i her. close my eyes and just listen I, yeah i don't want you to see the video okay. so i want you to please don't peek i won't don't peek I'm because on. i'm going to show you the video but i just want you to hear it first okay. and then we'll then i want your opinion and then i will show you some of the video okay, okay? all right here we go <laughs> Open the, the, you still can't see the video. I have it off. Oh. But you can open your eyes and talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes closed still. I think I like the song, but you know, I'm a reggae lover, so I love mm-hmm. the vibe that this song gives off. I like mm-hmm. her voice. It's very different, but I, I like the song. I like mm-hmm. it. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the video. Okay. Brace yourself. Okay. Hang on. Which one is her? You'll see. What? Why are they? What? They can't show this on TV. 
They can't show this on TV. That's her right there in the center. This is a joke. No. This is real. She's going to be on this show. Why is everybody naked? Her bush. <laughs> Everybody's naked. <laughs> she looked like Justin, <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay, so now you see why. Now you see why I, I, I didn't let you see it first, right? <laughs> Sorry, Ash. I like your song, though. It's hot. You're going to be famous. Nobody's going to see this video, though, because She's... everybody's naked. Nobody has clothes on in this whole video. It's a porno. It's an orgy. It's not a porno. It's a porno. It's not everybody's a porno. Everybody's naked. It's an HBO porn. It's not a porno. It's an HBO porn. It is not a porno. It is an HBO porn. It is not a porno. It's an HBO porn. It is not. It is not a porno. There's well, no one it? having sex. It's suggested. Uh, yeah, it's suggested. HBO porn. <laughs> they naked. It's mm-hmm. tits. So, uh... Dino. What? I've seen the video. I've seen it a million times. Uh, now, you like you said, now you know why I made you listen to it before I let you see it. Well, she has like a man chest but a vagina? Am I... What? Oh, maybe that wasn't her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got her. I got it confused. I got her confused with somebody else. Okay, so let's go back to the music. So she's out of she's out of uh, Colorado, and she's very eclectic, right? I love called, the song. Called out of the box, and she's got other songs that I really love too. I love the song. She's awesome. I'm a fan. She's awesome. All right, yay. And she's, I'm a fan. I've I've been communicating with her, and she almost made it to the show. Uh, I want to I want to ask her what what gave her the concept for this video. This is crazy. So she's awesome, extremely talented, and she's kind of all over the place. And I know, in traditionally in music, that's not considered a good thing. You know, for like as far as like marketing oh, and I for know. record deals and things like they hate that. They hate people who are all over the place. They want to put you in a box. They want to. Bruno Mars had problems when he first came yeah, out but because was, they didn't know what to do with him. But then I was going to. But to uh, to add to what you're saying, usually when they do break out, they break out huge because they are so different. They they break out so big because they are so different and they're not like everybody else and everybody right. just flocks to them. And I can definitely see this that happening for her. Cause I, she I has, hope that happens for her. Yes, because this song is off the chain this song is cool i like it and i can't wait to hear more for her well yeah she is an awesome person like i said i've I've been talking to her whatever i feel like we're friends but uh she she will be she's here now but she's she's going to be when i say here i mean in in la so but she couldn't make you know this was it was Uh last minute she couldn't make it today i was trying to get her on the show today couldn't book her for today but she will be here in may awesome and so she's going to do the show in may shout out yes so, i want to um, know what gave you the concept for this video because it's so. very different it's very creative if you guys if you if, it's, if this is your first time finding out about yes like it is mine check her out because i'm telling you it's gonna pique your interest for sure yeah she's she's awesome yeah so. shout out Okay, now with that, let's get into Dee Dee's dating do's and don'ts. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, world? It's your girl, Dijon Monique, and I am your dating guru here to give you all your dating advice. So if you have been keeping up with me, okay, so if you've been keeping up with me, 
and you've made it this far, that means your GPS is on point in your life right now. <laughs> All right? You are on the blue line in your love life, okay? I have taken...